All right, hi peeps. We're gonna work on I Got the Boy. This is our challenge song. So we've got our capo on the fifth fret. We're playing in G position, so it's coming out in the key of C. That's the record key. So the easiest way to play this song is using this G and then going to that A minor. That Rather, that's the most familiar way. But there's a more efficient way that I want you to try, and that is playing G like this. The key idea is that your ring finger is down here on the sixth string and your pinky's up top. The reason that's advantageous is that you're going to go from here to an A minor and that's closer. With the first G you're going to have to turn your hand. So you decide which one you want to work on. I hope that you'll at least try this way. And we're going to um, talk today assuming that you're going to try this way. All right. So you're going to need your G chord your A minor chord, and then you're going to take your ring finger and put it on the fifth string. That'll make your C chord. And then look how easy it is to get back to that G chord. Another option you have, it sounds really good and it gives you a certain stability advantage, is to keep your pinky down the whole time if you can manage it. That looks like this, to this, to this, to this. The pinky was down the whole time. And then, so we have our, our that's our intro. And the verse starts on A minor, the two minor. That's a little unusual. So you songwriters take note. You don't have to start every verse on a one chord. So by the way, the right hand is just going to go bass, bass, strum, bass, bass, strum. That's one bar. Another bar of that. Back to G. See how close that is if you do it that way. A minor, A minor, G. Then look how your middle finger's right there on the fifth string. The next chord on the chart is three minor. That's B minor. You're going to get rid of your pinky. We don't need him. Your ring is going to come to the third string. And if you promise me that you will play the fifth string as your bass, I promise you that this will work well enough for a B minor chord for right now. B minor, A minor. And you'll notice you don't have to put your ring down unless you really want to. And then you put your middle finger back into your B minor. Then you're going to slide your middle finger into the C chord or a diamond, like that. Da, 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 ah. Then you're in the chorus. You got a quick D. That's the quickest thing in the whole song, so be ready for that. All right, I'm going to scoot ahead into the solo. All right, we end the second chorus on your C chord. Then we're back to G. This is the solo. On your chart, it says flat seven. Watch this. Don't move your pinky. These two guys pop up two sets of strings. Your ring is on the fourth, your middle's on the third, and you're going to add your index finger onto the second string. Your bass note's right here on the fourth string. Then you need a C. These two are just going to go like this, fifth string, and then back to the G chord. Don't forget to fire your index finger. Do it again. F, C, So, working out of this G, we're going to get rid of the middle finger because he's going to clash with our lick note, and we're going to let the ring finger lean down on the fifth string, muting it. This index finger is going to do the fancy show-off job of making the lick happen. Looks like this. This is slightly simplified, but it sounds really good. So, have a ball.